All right, Mike, thanks. And just a few hours, the polls will open in Knoxville for Election Day. Remember, that means school is out today. Yes, WBIR 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson joins us now with everything you need to know. Good morning, Leslie. Hey, good morning, Russell. Good morning, Abby. That's right. It is the big day and it is time for you to get out and cast your ballot. And you know what's exciting? We're going to have a new mayor this evening in Knoxville, a big race that all eyes are on. Eddie Manis and India Kincannon both vying for that top spot. Today is the day to get out and tell, you know, give your opinion and make sure that your vote counts. Now, this is going to be a pretty tight race is what we're hearing from election officials, kind of the gossip around that. So definitely get out there and vote. Both candidates have impressive resumes and big visions for what they would like to do if elected. Now in the primary, looking back at those numbers, Eddie Manis finished with 36.64% of the vote. Kid Cannon finished with 29.13%. Now other than the mayoral race, voters will also get the chance to cast ballots for the Knoxville City Council seats and municipal judge. If you're planning on heading to the polls today, make things easier on yourself by grabbing a couple things before you walk out the door. First thing they're going to ask you for is your photo ID. Okay. And then they're going to look at it and they may very well ask Ness, is this where you still live? Now, if your driver's license doesn't have the same address on it uh, as where you're now living, that's okay. We're just using it for the photo ID. We may have a different address in our signature book. And if not, we're going to look you up to be sure that we got you in the right polling place. So we'll take care of it. In Knoxville, there are about 93,000 registered voters. During early voting period, about 11,868 people cast their votes. So still a lot of people out there who haven't voted yet. Polls will open at 8 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. If you are in line by 8 p.m., you will get to vote. 40, 40 different precincts will be open, and unlike early voting, you do have to vote at a specific precinct. If you don't know what that is, um, they'll help you find that. If you go to one of the locations, you can look it up online as well. Make sure to grab that photo ID as well. And if you live in the county, a reminder, you actually don't get to vote. This is just for city residents. We'll have much more throughout the day and keep you updated as those results start to roll in. Abby Russell, back to you.